Hey Polish peeps, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are already subscribed. Um, I have May Polish Pickup, actually my May Polish Pickup haul to share with you guys. Um, first of all, let me just say I am focusing on happy. It is so crazy right now. So many negative things in the world. So many um, things that could naturally bring us down. But I'm choosing to focus on positive things, positive energy. Um, and for this particular haul, some of you may know, if you watched my previous video, um, May was actually a really hard month for me. I lost my job and I... I had to let you just say that. Anyway, so I lost my job. I was anticipating not being able to purchase any, um, well, maybe not any, but definitely very few um, polish pickup polishes in the month of May. I have some very amazing friends that gifted me with gift cards um, for the month of May. So I actually probably made the biggest purchase I've ever made with polish pickup. Y'all, I was so down the whole entire month of May and it just really picked me up. It really reminded me of how blessed I am um, to have the friends that I have and to have made so many amazing, wonderful friends in the nail polish community. So that's what I'm choosing to focus on. Um, I'm not by any means being silent um, about things that are going on now, but I, um, specifically for the purposes of my YouTube channel. Strive to bring you guys positivity and just love and um, all good things polish related. So um, I'm choosing to do my video a little different this time. Um, I'm going to do live swatches on swatch sticks of each of the polishes that I received. So um, I don't know. I just want to do something a little different. Sometimes I like to switch things up and also what I normally do when I get my polishes is I put them on swatch sticks and I label them um, and so you guys will actually get to be included in that process. <laughs> That's what I do when I get polishes. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to pause and I'm going to flip my camera around and we'll get started. Super excited! Okay, so I am back. Um, I hope this lighting is okay. I kind of struggled with trying to figure out what kind of lighting to use. This is kind of a new setup I'm using here. So, um, let me put my glasses on so I can see. Um, so I hope this lighting is okay. I also um, was trying to decide what back <laughs> what background to use. I hope this one is okay and it doesn't um, distract from the polish. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. I want to first start with my um, non-polish related, I guess, um, items that I purchased. So I did get the stamping plate that was featured last month. Um, I just thought this was so cute with um, all of these like sweet images on here. Um, I may need to, let me try zooming out a little bit. I don't know if that's really not even better, but <laughs> let, me, let me zoom back in. Um, anyway, so I really like these gummies. This is what sold me, is these gummy bears right here. I um, love gummy bears. Like, actually, I just love anything gummy. I um, would probably say gummy bears is, like, my favorite candy. Like, my favorite non-chocolate related candy. Um, but I just thought this was so cute. I don't have any stamping plates like this. I'm super excited about trying all the images on here. I really love everything. I just love everything on this plate. I think this plate is so fun. So excited about that. And that is from the, oh, I'm going to mess this name up, Apipola. <laughs> from the brand Apipola. Um, and so, yeah, super excited about that. Um, so I also got the Cuticula um, Duo. This is the 
the base coat and um, top coat. Mm, excuse me, top coat in the sense in the sense sweet escape. And this is the um, mic drop base coat and limitless quick dry um, top coat. This is my first purchase um, for Cuticula's top coat, and I just really wanted to try it and. Um, I'm also always looking for a good base coat, and if it's scented, that's always a plus for me. So I am super excited to have these two. Can't wait to try them. I've heard nothing but good things about this top coat. Um, so looking forward to trying that one. Now let's get to the polishes. I have 11 polishes to share with you guys. I know, insane. I cannot believe, um, I'm just overwhelmed by the generosity of my friends. That helped me make this purchase and made my month so much easier to deal with. Um, and I, you know, quite honestly, I was really struggling. It was a huge loss for me. Um, but I'm bouncing back and this is actually helping a lot. <laughs> so these are in no particular order. I just kind of pulled them from my shelf so I could go over them with you. This one is a really pretty blue with those pretty pink um, glitters in there in different sizes. This is swirly twirly taffy um i'm super excited about this one i just really love those um like neon pink oh, you might be able to see it better this way neon pink glitters in there i think those are really pretty i think this color blue is really pretty um hopefully my camera is kind of doing it justice but let's go ahead and swatch that on a swatch stick Usually this process I'm super excited about, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, so, hold on just a moment. Okay, I'm back. My children are in the house and making this not as easy as I would like. But let's get to swatching this Kathleen & Co. polish. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so in love with this. You guys have no idea how much I wanted this polish, and I'm so happy that I got it. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I'm really trying to be selective about things that I added to my collection at this point. Um, simply because I just have so much. I hope this is like in focus. I can hardly tell, but look how pretty those um, glitters are. And they just kind of lay it across the nail oh my gosh it's so pretty and on one coat um, you get like an even spread of those glitters which I really love I can't stand having to um, manipulate the glitters although I will <laughs> but I don't actually like to have to do that so I'm excited that those glitters are laying like that so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll swatch these in one coat and then I'll go back and put a second coat on with top coat, and then I'll go back over them. Um, the next one is called um, Bubble Mint from Dreamland Lacquer. Again, I don't have anything like this in my collection. It's just this really pretty minty green, and just look at all of those glitters and those pretty gold flakies, those holographic glitters just popping off of there. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so beautiful. I could not pass this one up. I really tried. I put it in my cart to get out of my cart. I put it in my cart to get out of my cart. Ultimately, it ended up staying in my cart. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I decided to pick this one up. I think it is so pretty. And again, I don't have anything like it in my collection. I have nothing like this color green with... Um, these flakies and the um, holographic glitters in here. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Y'all, I am loving the glitter combination in here. And as you guys could see when I swatched it, it's a really amazing formula. It just glides across the nail, super um, buttery. I wish my lighting was better for you guys. But look how pretty that is. Let me show it this way. Um, so super excited to wear this one. I think it'll be perfect 
for spring and maybe even summer um, because that's how I roll. <laughs> So that's one coat of Dreamland Lacquer Bubble Mint. Um, the next one is Candy Coated um, from Night Owl Lacquer. You guys know your girl cannot pass up a purple polish. And this one is just chock full of beautiful flakies. Oh my gosh, I just love those so much. And my camera is, of course, not doing it justice. But those flakies are just popping, y'all. They are popping. I love this so much. And I love this color purple. It's kind of like a lavender um, shade of purple is what I would describe it as. But the flakies in there just add so much to it. It's just so beautiful. Cannot pass this up. I, don't, I really have been loving Night Owl Lacquer's, um, you know, how, like, their polishes and PP. Uh, you have just really been calling to me. I picked up a bunch of them. Like, it seems like every month for PPU, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have the Night Owl Lacquer. <laughs> it's like every month. It's one of the ones that I've, like, pretty much purchased, I would say, almost every time. Look at, the, look at those flakies, y'all. Those are gorgeous. I love this so much. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I snagged this one. If you guys have this one, <laughs> are you not super happy? <laughs> so amazing. I... I know this one's just going to be beautiful. I don't I don't know. I feel like I need this one like on my nails right now. I'm not going to show you guys. Um, I said I wasn't going to show you, but I am because I'm doing it right now. But when I come back after I do the second cut, I'll show you guys what it looks like with my skin tone. So that is Night Owl Lacquer Candy Coated. So happy I picked that one up. I'll go ahead and tell you guys. I'm pretty much happy that I picked just, I mean, every single one that I picked up, I'm happy I picked up. <laughs> This is one, um, here Fishy Fishy, this is a new brand to me, and I was actually inspired to pick this one up by my friend Carolina, who has just recently started swatching this collection, and, um, the swatches of the collection that she recently swatched, um, just looks so good. The formula looks so good, and when I saw this one, I was like, I need to try it. I don't have any blush lacquers. So, this is my first, and I am so excited to have this one I'm also struggling to open it <laughs> um, and of course when I saw this one swatched I was like well it doesn't even matter that it's a new to me brand it's just a beautiful polish um, and from what I could tell the formula looked amazing I really love this brush y'all look at this brush <gasps> oh my gosh y'all this is so amazing I'm so glad I picked this one up I'm gonna say that a lot y'all will probably get tired hearing me say that <laughs> But this just has the prettiest flakies and this blue base it's it's kind of it's blue but it has like this really pretty like pink shimmer in there I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer but it is gorgeous I love that pink shimmer in there and I just love these flakies they just lie so nice and flat and there's so many of them it's like the perfect disbursement across the nail I am super pleased with this one so happy I picked this up. So I think this one will be opaque in two coats, but I usually like to wear a flaky polish in three coats just to get the depth of those flakies. And I know y'all have heard me say that before, but again, this is here, fishy, fishy, um, my blush lacquer. So the other one that I picked up is this one. This is Rogue Lacquer, and this one's called Jawbreaker. Do y'all remember, and actually you probably still see them sometimes, those really big <laughs> Jawbreakers. So huge, you could not put it in your mouth, and like you had to like, like eat it in sections. <laughs> I used to love those Jawbreakers, and this is what this polish reminds me of. I love this kind of um, white base and this... Um, Kind of flaky combination here is really pretty it's like blue and red and gold and i don't know why but when i saw this one swatched i had to have it and of course i took it off my list put it back on took it took it off put it back on <laughs> and um this is the process this is what happens to me every month with ppu 
but I'm really glad that I decided to snag this one again oh my gosh this formula you guys so amazing I don't know if you guys can see how amazing that formula is and these flakies they're just everything <laughs> oh my gosh look how beautiful that is and that flaky combination is amazing I'm really trying to stay in focus here for you guys look how pretty that is Oh my gosh, I just love that so much. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, see if I can get a little bit better. That is amazing. I love that. Super happy with that one. Um, and that is, again, Rogue Lacquer Jawbreaker. So pretty. Here it is a little closer up. Oh, I should have zoomed in earlier. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is, of course, y'all, it's another purple. I realized that my polish pickup for the month of um, May was a little bit purple heavy. But purple makes me happy, and when I was all in my feelings, that is what I needed. So this is Skip to the Sweet Shop by Lollipop Posse. And just look at all that flaky goodness in there. There's also some, um, looks like scattered hollow glitters in there as well i don't know if you guys can see the scattered hollow as well as i'm seeing it in person but y'all this is one that did not come off my list stayed on my list for the whole duration of me trying to make a decision about polish pickup i knew right from the start i had to have this one and from what everybody else has been sharing that picked up this polish it does not disappoint Oh my gosh, y'all, this is just such an amazing, absolutely beautiful polish. I love this so much. Formula, as you can see, is perfection. Look at those flakies. <laughs> I love flakies, you guys. I really struggled trying not to buy all the flaky polishes. That is just so pretty. Um, I hope that's in focus for you guys. It's kind of hard for me to see from this angle of my viewfinder, but so happy I got that one. Um, and of course, you know, can't go wrong with a flaky purple. So skip to the sweet shop by Lollipop Posse. That one's really beautiful. Next, um, let's go a little different route, although I do have a couple more purples to share with you guys. This one is definitely... Out of my comfort zone this is limey bean fair maiden it was kind of a toss-up between this one and jayreen i think that's how you say that um and jayreen was a little bit more i believe of a green neon but um i specifically decided to go with this one oh man the bottle is kind of weird there but i specifically decided to go with this one because it is so much out of my comfort zone and um because you guys know I don't really gravitate towards yellows, but I'm really trying to add some more dimensions, more depth to my collection. <laughs> and also I don't have, um, or actually I didn't until recently, have a lot of neons in my collection. I really have been purchasing a lot of neons um, to add to my collection. But this one is super bright, you guys. My camera is going to freak out. Like, what is this? But it's so amazing, this formula. Y'all, if there was a polish that you could call buttery, <laughs> this would be it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that is so amazing. And for someone that does not like yellow polishes, I am really digging this one. So beautiful. And I think it's just because it's yellow and it's neon, but it has like this other goodness going on in there. <laughs> Just that extra stuff. Oh my gosh, so good. I am really happy that I picked this one up, y'all. This lighting is driving me nuts. So pretty. So when I come back, I may mess around with my camera a little while, a little bit before, um, after I do the second coat and see if I can get these to look a little better for you guys. Just because I'm not happy with how it's going right now currently, but... 
The next one I have is another one that stayed on the list and did not come off. This is Sugar Skulls, and it is, um, what is the name of this brand? Necessary Evil? Yes, Necessary Evil. It's so small, I can barely see it. Can you guys see that right there? <laughs> um, I am loving this neon pink with these glitters. These glitters are everything. I can't even tell you guys how in love I am with this polish. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm thinking it'll probably be um like on my summer rack it's definitely going to be on my summer rack i think there's going to be a lot of neons on my summer rack this year um and i didn't have a lot of neons neons on my summer rack last year just because i didn't own a bunch so i'm super excited for my summer rack this year and i actually have gotten to wear a lot of polishes on my spring rack um i love how jelly this is too so I'm hoping for this summer I get around to wearing a lot of polishes. I'm really trying to just wear, you know, polishes on my racks when I make them so that I can get a lot of polishes worn. You guys, look at that. I love this jelly base. So pretty. And those glitters are so amazing. I am kind of hoping with the second coat that I get some more of these um, like different color glitters. I may actually put it upside down for a minute, see if we can get the different color glitters out of there on the second coat, but I'm really pleased with that first coat. And also, buttery formula, you guys can tell how amazing that formula is. Super thrilled. Ooh, this girl needs some lotion. <laughs> oh my gosh. My hands are always so dry. Okay, so next I have um, this one. This is KB Shimmer Fruit Slices Yummy Yummy. Of course, I really struggled with trying to make the decision of getting the KB Shimmer or the Polish for Days. I ultimately decided that the KB Shimmer would look better with my skin tone. And I think it was, it's these like gold flakes in here that made me decide I think that this would be better with my skin tone so I'm really happy I got this one um normally I can't pass normally cannot pass up polish for days but I had to make a decision <laughs> and it was a difficult one I almost went back several times even after I got the KB shimmer and got the polish for days too but oh my gosh you guys this is so good so good oh my gosh i love this so much look at that i'm okay i'm glad i got this instead of the polish for days i love polish for days but oh my gosh look <laughs> that is so pretty i and i actually really enjoy this shade it's coming off of my camera a little lighter so i'm assuming it'll darken up a little bit on the second coat but just look at those flakies y'all I'm trying to get close without my camera freaking out. Look at that, how they just shift in the light. I love that so much. So pretty. So happy I got that one. I feel like I've said that five million times in this video. <laughs> it's all good though. So that's uh, fruit slices, yummy, yummy, KB Shimmer. Oh, so good. And I don't know if you guys can see that hollow in there too. It's just, this polish just has so much. It's just everything. Um, so we're down to the last two. And so I also got Cuticula, if y'all remember. Um, in my polish pickup wish list, I talked about how I love Lucky Charms over ice cream. So, of course, I had to get this polish called Magically Delicious. Um, the inspiration being Lucky Charms. Um, and I just love these flakies. These flakies are just... I don't know they just speak to my heart <laughs> and then they're in this light purple kind of lilac base um and i'll show you guys the difference between this and the night owl lacquer night owl lacquer is actually a lot darker but if you didn't if you didn't put them right next to each other you would be like oh the night owl lacquer is pretty light this is definitely a lot like a lot lighter definitely more of a lilac shade um than a lavender and so I had to have this one as well because purple and I know it's going to have an amazing formula. I just already know. Y'all, these flakies. Look how 
amazing those flakies lay across the nail. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. This is the process that I go through, you guys, when I swatch my polishes after polish pickup. <laughs> I'm just like, Ooh. oh wow, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I'm like blown away. So you guys are experiencing this process with me. <laughs> So, you guys, I know you know what that feels like because I know y'all all get y'all's orders and you just like, oh, this is everything. This is so beautiful. I'm so glad I got this. Again, those flakies just, whew, oh my gosh. So good. Okay, the last one is Charlie from Cadillacer. And, you know, I know this is a thermal. It's actually escaping my mind what it transitions to but I'm sure it's beautiful because I would not pick it up if it wasn't and I remember absolutely having to have this polish and it wasn't just because it's purple which it is but I remember it having a beautiful transition so I will also try to insert um, a video of that transition if I can for you guys so you guys can see um, and this is just it's it's actually it's purple but it's more like a oh my gosh I can't even describe this base it's more like a gray base um, and that leads me to believe that the transition is purple and it's what it's coming off kind of purple in my viewfinder but in person it's more grayish so I don't know if you guys can kind of tell but it's really beautiful I'm loving those gold flakies in there and I love the kind of pond effect this one has they're just kind of sitting in there chilling like floating in the base and I love that so much so beautiful so that again was Charlie and it's a thermal so, okay, that is all of them. That's all 11 polishes. I'm going to go back and put a second coat on all of them and apply a top coat. And then I'll come back and we'll talk about all of them again. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and we're going to go over each one of the polishes. I have put on a second coat and top coated all of them. So the first one I want to go over is this one. This is the Cadillacer. Look how beautiful those flakies are. Um, again, this one's called Charlie. And I want to show you guys the transition. I really love the way this looks on the nail. Look how pretty that is. And so I have my cups of water here. Hopefully I can get this in frame for you guys. Without having to zoom out. So I have hot water here on the right, so cold water on the left. So this is the transition in hot water. If you guys can see, it does go to like a really pretty lavender. And then it transitions super fast. I think that is so pretty. Now I remember why I got it. <laughs> Look how amazing that looks. Oh my gosh. So glad I got it. So then this is it. If we just did like the tips of being dark. Look how pretty that is. And I do believe it is a tri-thermal. You guys can see that middle transition there. In the middle. How pretty that is. I'm so glad I got that. So pretty. So that's Cadillacer Charlie. Um, and then the next one is the Cuticula Magically Delicious. Looks really pretty with that second coat. I'm really going to enjoy wearing this one. This one looks on my skin tone. So cute. Look how cute that is. Have nothing like this but now I do so happy that's cuticula again magically delicious and then we have the KB shimmer 
This is fruit slices, yummy, yummy. And look how pretty that one is with the second coat. Really gorgeous. I love that so much. And I just know without even trying this on, this is going to look amazing. Look at that with my skin tone. I am in love with these flakies, y'all. I cannot even tell y'all. Look at those flakies. And they are just evenly dispersed all the way across the nail. So amazing. If you guys can't tell, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> Um, and then we have the Kathleen and Co. Swirly Twirly Taffy. And this is coats. I would maybe probably wear this one at a um at three coats. Sorry, my camera did something funny. I was trying to make sure it didn't stop recording on me. And where this one is. My skin tone, I think this is a really pretty blue. Look how pretty. And those glitters. Gorgeous. And then we have the Fair Maiden Limey Bean. And I am really looking forward to wearing this one. Specifically because I have never worn a polish this bright before. In my life <laughs> so it'll be a first for me and it'll be a first for me wearing a my camera's freaking out you guys um like a like a this will be my first time wearing a yellow neon so and I actually think this is probably the only one in my collection so pretty and then we have skip to the sweet shop with the lollipop posse, beautiful purple glitters. This one is also purple, one of my favorites. I'd probably wear this one at three coats, but look at that pretty, um, it's kind of like a fuchsia, uh, like shimmer that comes off of those flakies. It's really beautiful. Gorgeous. I feel like singing, but I won't because y'all won't watch my videos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, then we have Dreamland Lacquer. This is minty green with the holographic micro glitters and beautiful gold flaky goodness going on. Really enjoying this one as well. I think it's gonna look amazing. My skin tone. You guys are probably thinking, oh, what doesn't look amazing with your skin tone? Well, <laughs> that's another video. <laughs> um, and then we have the Night Owl Lacquer with these flakies and this purple goodness. This is a true lavender, but those flakies, man, just set it off. I love the flakies on this one. They really do speak to my magical heart. It just reminds me of like butterflies and um, I think it really does kind of look like butterflies in that jelly base and it just makes me think of fairies. <laughs> I don't know why. Really pretty, and I do think this one will be um, opaque in two coats, but I'd probably wear it at three just for the flakies. And next we have Blush Lacquer, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's really beautiful on that second coat. It did darken up quite a bit for me on the second coat here, Fishy Fishy, just reminds me of a blue ocean with fish. That's what it really reminds me of. <laughs> and it's really gorgeous, really pretty. And also just looks amazing. Look how that pops up off the nail. Woo! I just love that. There's a fruit fly in here, y'all. You hear me? Go on. It's a fruit fly. <laughs> 
Um, and we have Rogue Lacquer. And this reminds me of the big jawbreakers. And that's exactly what it looks like on that second coat on the nail. Um, I really did love those gobstoppers, not gobstoppers. I love gobstoppers, but I'm talking about the jawbreakers. <laughs> Look how pretty those glitters and flakies are. I, I just really love this combination. I'm glad I got this one. And then lastly is the only one that I'm kind of iffy about after doing the second coat. And I want to show you guys. I have this like little, I don't know if you guys can see. I might need to zoom out so you guys can see. Um, like polish holder. And this is kind of what I do if I need to put the polish upside down for a little while. So the flakies, not the flakies, the glitters um, migrate towards the neck of the bottle and... Also, another neat little trick that I learned, I think my friend Carolina told me about this, but if you have glitters that are kind of stuck on the side of the bottle like this, she said if you get a magnet, you can find the, um, I don't know what you call those, little silver balls in there, and the magnet grabs it, and then you can kind of move those glitters, I don't know if you guys can see, off the side of the bottle. And I did not do this before I did the second swatch, or the second coat of this polish, but look how it kind of moves them off. And then you can kind of hopefully get some more of those on the nail. So I'm hoping when I actually wear this polish that I can do this and it'll help with um, getting some more of those uh, like different colored glitters on my nails. I did get a couple of the gold ones on there, but for the most part, all you can see is the blue ones. Which, the blue ones are still really pretty. I'm still really happy with that. Still really happy with the base, um, that jelly base in this one. It's really pretty neon pink, and I really love that. Try to zoom back in a little bit so you guys can see. Um... But I would just kind of like some more of those. Because there's like some purple glitters in there. Which you can see a couple of them in there. Um, I'd like a little bit more of those on the nails. And of course I'd probably do this. I'd probably do three coats of this polish. To kind of get some more of those out. Okay. We are done. And this video ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would. But I had 11 polishes. And so. It was a really good haul. Thank you for joining me. I hope this. Um, kind of setup is okay for you guys. I know the lighting is a little weird. I'll work with that um, in the future. But if you did enjoy this video, um, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up. And um, hit that notification bell so that you can uh, get, get notifications of super, uh, not super, get notifications of videos when I post them. And I hope you guys... Uh, Scored some really beautiful polishes in May for polish pickup. We just had June polish pickup, and I'm really happy with what I got, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, so let me know below in the comments what you guys got, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!